Hey there, hey there. I am back again with another wig show and tell. And today's wig is brought to you by the brand Outre. If you are interested in this wig, I will be sure to leave a website link in my description box that you can purchase from. Outre was kind enough to send me their Outre Perfect Hairline 13 by 6 Lace Frontal Wig in the style Sierra. I have it in the color Spicy Red. This wig is available in nine colors. I like to show the inside cap construction so you guys can really see how much parting space you're working with. This wig comes with a 13 by 6 lace frontal parting space. Behind the frontal, there are two combs with another comb in the nape area and adjustable straps. This wig was made on a stretch fit material cap and it's breathable. They inserted a elastic band so you get an extra secure fit and also help your wig lay flat as for the lace on this wig it feels soft and it looks like it's transparent lace and the hair texture has a light yakky feel to it this is how the wig comes straight out of the package and again the color that i have is spicy red The hairline comes pre-plucked and you get baby hairs. With this wig, I would like to do a middle part. After I did the middle part, I noticed the parting space could use some flattening. So I'm gonna go in with my anise hot comb on a temperature setting, I believe I had it on 15. And I'm just gonna go in and press down the parting space so it can lay nice and flat. I make sure to not run the hot comb all the way through because that can mess up the curls. Then after that, I'm gonna go in and smooth out the hairline a little as well. After pressing it out, you can really see how the hairline come. And Utre did a pretty good job plucking, but I would like it plucked just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in and pluck. While plucking, I make sure to hold the hair down and I'm just plucking the parts that look really dense that could use some fading. And I just keep plucking in random sections until I see a hairline coming through. I'm also going to pluck off those baby hairs. I didn't show you guys how I plucked this hairline too much because I didn't want to hold up too much of y'all time, but I pretty much just held the hairline down, took out the baby hairs, and just kept plucking until my desired hairline came through. And in the end, it came through because this is how I like it. This is what I'm talking about. Utre already did most of the work. I just had to touch it up a bit for me. Now that I'm all done styling the wig, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off that extra lace. And to cut off that extra lace, I'm going in with some eyebrow scissors and I'm cutting close to the hairline, but not too close. And I'm cutting in little zigzag motions. guys thank you so much for clicking my video let's get straight into this wig from Outre it is a spicy red hot wig 
I don't think I ever did a wig like this from Outre, so this is about to be fun. I want it to look like a virgin hair wig install as much as possible, so I'm going to try my best to do that. Underneath the wig, I don't have any product on the lace. The lace is lighter than my skin. So I'm going to go in with some makeup powder. Let me get it out. Let me get it out. I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 360 underneath the lace, but I'm only going to apply it to the spots that we're showing. So that's the parting space and middle part. I don't see the need to put the makeup powder everywhere because these are the only spots that will be showing while I wear the wig. So to save some product, I'm just gonna put it on the spots that will be showing. All right, so it's looking a little crazy right now, but I know it's gonna come all together. So the lace is still a little lighter on my skin with just using the makeup powder. So to get the lace to blend in with my skin more, I'm gonna go in with my NARS foundation. Y'all already know, for those of you that know, I am going to shake it up, take a small pump of this, Put it onto the paper towel. Then I'm gonna take my makeup brush and I'm gonna smudge out some of the product so I don't apply too much product on top of the lace on the hairline. And then I'm gonna go in and wipe it on. take my olive oil super hold spray i'm going to spray one layer of this on top of the lace to hold my lace down All right, so now that I got this lace down, at first I wasn't gonna add some baby hairs, but at least you guys get to see what it looked like without the baby hairs. But I think I would like to go in and add some angel hairs, like a little right here on my temple, and probably another one right here by the sideburns. Let's see, let's see as I go through it. So when doing your baby hairs, you guys, test it, especially around the temples and see if that's where you would like your baby hairs. Sometimes people just pull it out and then they just place it, but then, you know, play with it and see if that's the amount you want, if you really want it right there. Um, Right there is looking too good. I mean, right there is looking good. I don't really want to put too much on my forehead. So, huh, I think that's good. I think I could go with that. All right, so now I'm gonna cut my baby hairs down to my liking.
all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's come on, come on, come on. Getting a little too hype, y'all. I can't wait to see this end result. All right, so now. What's next? What's next? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna take this Maybelline Fenty Powder. I had to swallow my spit. In the shade 360 and my flat head brush. And actually first, I usually do the parting space first and then the hairline. So I'm gonna take some of this powder and put it on in the parting space. So the parting space could look a little bit more like scalp. And I'm also going to apply some on the hairline of the lace. This just help hide the knots and grids on the lace and also help hide my wig cap underneath. What? What? You can't. You can't talk to me. Well, yes, you can't talk to me. I'll say hi. But, y'all, how gorgeous is this? You can see the light, yakky texture on camera. The color is. The color is gorgeous. Like what what that's all i can say is what i love it so let me just model the hair for y'all and then i'm gonna tell you my final thoughts on this way Yes, Outre definitely did their thing with this one. And I bet this wig in a natural black would look gorgeous as well. I'm pretty sure all the colors look really gorgeous, but I love it. This color definitely will make you stand out. This color will definitely make people like take a look at you real quick because it's screaming, look at me. Look at me, God. Look at me, God. Look at me, look at me. Look at me. Looking like I a quarter lick. I'm not too much of a fan of a look at me wig, but in this, y'all could look at me because this is something to look at. This is cute, y'all. This is real cute. 
affordable, baddie on a budget. When I was styling the wig, I did get shedding. Shedding was like medium, but I'm not surprised. I did go in and pluck the hairline. And I also went in and cut off some of the air tabs. And when I cut off some of the air tabs, I feel like I cut into the hair a little bit, but not too much, so it's okay. As for the length of the wig on me, I would say it's about 16 inches. My height is a five, six. The hair luster. I don't feel like the wig have a shine. It's really gorgeous. Like it has a shine, but it's not too shiny. But if you feel like if the wig is too shiny for your liking, you can always go in with dry shampoo to dim down the shine. I like Canara Volume Dry Shampoo. And if you would like the link to that, it will be in my description box. Um, one thing I love about the color too, I love the bright tones in the front and I love the dark undertones that's blended in with the curls. It's really pretty. As for tangling, I did get a few snags of hair here and there, but nothing too hectic. And it is only day one with the wig, so I'm glad it's not like really too hectic. As for the size on the wig, I usually go by if it's like big head friendly, if it has like stretch cap room material left in here. And so far, I got stretch cap room material left in there. So my head circumference is 22 inches. If you have a larger head, I do feel like you are in for the clear. If you have a smaller head, then the elastic band that comes on the inside, you can knock the end of that elastic band. You can also crisscross the adjustable straps. And if it's like, really baggy in the back you go in and take some bobby pins and slide it in the back but make sure it's like not sticking out of the wig make sure it's going through the cap as well the lace i feel like they did a great job with the lace the lace blends in with my skin once i got it to match my skin tone and i like how the lace is soft it's not hard I love how you get a lot of parting space. Y'all already know what I like to say. The deeper the parting space, the more realistic a wig look to me. Because look at that. Look, look, ah! look at all that parting. Look at all that parting. Plus the stock card model. The red that she have on. She is killing that side part. So because she already went ahead and did the side part, I was like, let me go ahead and do the middle part. Plus that half up, half down eats, as they would say. The middle part is what I got. And these colors are gorgeous. It was so hard to even pick a color because the stock card model was slaying all the colors. So I was like, let me be bold and different and do the red. And I honestly don't regret it because this is really 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 cute i love it i love it i was gonna put it in my wig stand but i don't know i feel like this one is a keeper it's so cute <sighs> calm down kara calm down kara calm down all right this one i'll talk on camera because sometimes i don't know how to act but I'm gonna talk today. I'm gonna talk today because this wig is worth some words, okay? I knew this was going to be a hit. Oh, snap. Ah, love it, you guys. I love it. Um, I don't have any cons with the wig. I really don't. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. Be safe out there because this world is crazy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.